Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing the second half of my what Solds which will be for last weekend March 10th through the 12th. I've had a little bit of an uptick in my um, sales. We went out of town this week. I'm working on a special project and went to the Goodwill bins down in South Carolina um, and I put my store on vacation and I, I think I did really well while my store was on vacation I had quite a few sales that I went ahead and shipped Saturday um, just because I didn't want it accumulating over all the um, the weekend my clerk does not like when I bring in a ton of packages on Monday mornings so I try to mail most Saturdays. Now when yard sale season starts up again, that probably will not happen. But for now I have been. Um, but, you know, I, a little bit. And I've had some really amazing sales. I've got several to share with you guys this time. You know, a really high dollar plush and then a multi-quantity plush, which turned into some more sales. So you love when that happens, right? I did have a question. I went ahead and left left the pants up there we did a video once upon a time explaining our board that's the board Robert uses to pose our clothes that we take pictures of and all it is is a piece of plywood and we went to Joanne fabric and bought what's called a utility cloth um, it's kind of like a heavy like flannel board the stuff like when you're a teacher, Sunday school teacher, you know, you use those flannel boards. That's kind of what it feels like. But as you can see, those jeans are just sticking there. Now, if you have like jerseys and stuff that are slick, um, they won't stay up there. And that's what the the uh, hanger is for, is for things that won't stick to the board. But it's an amazing thing. We, we figured it out based it on um, daily refinement when he was doing videos a um, long time ago when we first started considering doing clothes. I think he's moved on to something else. I'm not quite sure. But, you know, we, we based it on his, and I've seen other YouTubers who use something very similar. So, you know, just whatever you do, we have a, a board, like a table a coffee table that we cut way down so that our feet can stick under because it kills you to have to lean forward all the time so our feet fit under and then you just take pictures I use it for like large blank you know baby blankets and stuff like that also to you know be able to spread them out not take them on pictures on beds and stuff like that but that's that's our board right there so let's go ahead and get started on my solds for last weekend, one cell on Mercari, it has just died, died. Um, and then, you know, lots of people tag, made comments in one of my other videos about now they're going to be charging us fees also on shipping. So, you know, I, I don't have high hopes for a lot of sales on there anymore. Their shipping is already much higher than the other platforms. So, you know, I don't blame people who to go look on the other platforms to, to find these with more reasonable shipping. But I did sell this Walgreens Rottweiler Dog Plush. I do really well with the Rottweiler Dog breed in plush across most brands. But this one is Walgreens. It sold for $19 on Mercari. If I said posh and all of that, who knows? Sometimes I'm not paying attention. My brain is going to the next thought before I finished my previous thought. But, all right. Then I have a couple of posh to sh share with you. These were, I guess, Sanity women's jeans. They sold for $14. Right now, I'm taking most reasonable offers. Got to get this stuff moving. These are Lee Riders women's jeans. We pick up a lot of Lee, a lot of Wranglers. Those are our bread and butter jeans. They still sold for $15. Dakin Dalmatian dog plush. It actually said Fritz across the top of his hat. That's where that word came from. It was from 1985, sold for $13. And then applause, Sad Sam plush. There's a Sad Sam and then the girl dog is Honey. This is Sad Sam. He's a 7 inch plush. 
from the 80s and he had um like a cute little bandana around his neck it sold for $12 one sell on Etsy to share this is cabbage patch um, kusas um, these were like the the dogs there's several of them in this series I pick them up if I get them cheap because they don't sell for a whole lot they are by Coleco they were back in the 80s this one sold for $16.95 and now eBay <clears throat> I picked these up at the Goodwill bins in St. Louis, found them all tucked together. I actually had pieces to like the zoo um, set also, and another piece that was Vintage Littlest Pet Shop. These don't look like anything like the more modern Littlest Pet Shop, and they all have a little um, silver medallion here on their neck. That's how you know they're Littlest Pet Shop. Um, these five figures sold for best offer of $20. This is Fine Toys, just a cute, cute black gorilla holding a rose. It was neat. It was like a little knit rose. $22.45. Walmart Gray Bear Plush with like a denim hat and vest on. $17.95. Now I had a question in one of my comments um, if this was all of my cells. These are not all of my cells. I pick certain ones to share with you guys if I think there's something unique about it or even if it's sold for a decent amount of profit. Um, but yeah, are my cells where I think they should be? No, no, but you know, I'm doing good considering, you know, all the issues I think eBay is having and not disclosing as well as I think there's issues with the economy. These more of the Lego minifigures. Now I put these two together. Neither one of them had legs. So I thought I'll just throw them on there and see what happens. This is Alice in Wonderland. She was a really good one to find if she was complete. And then this Jester. They still sold for $9.86. This is Gon's Flat a Pat Sheep um, Lovey. There's a whole series in the Flat a Pat um, Loveys. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I picked up at the Goodwill bins also, $17.95. Now, these are called Flipsies. The, the animal version of them are called Flipazoos. But they're just really cute doll plush. And then if you flip their heads back, they turn into a different doll. See, here's one of them, and here's the other one. So they're kind of reversible. They're by Jay at Play. I think this side, this one is the cutest of them. Um, individually, they don't sell for a whole lot, so I did put these two together. They sold for $13.45. This is a Care Bears Grumpy Bear from 2017. It's not the vintage ones, but it still sold for $26.95. Um, so, you know, not don't always just think that the vintage ones do well. You know, some of these contemporary ones, certain characters do very well. Just always check your comps. Now this, when I listed this, probably it's been over a year, um, I couldn't find a whole lot of comps. So I had, you know, typical, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll do $19.95, $24.95, $29.95, $29 somewhere in there based on the size, the brand, you know, other things that might be similar. But I got an offer. I hadn't had any offers on this. I got an offer for $15. I took that opportunity to go in and check Chuck Comps again because it had been listed a while. I don't go back and check unless I get an offer. Um, and $15 seemed to be reasonable, so I went ahead and accepted it. Now, I showed this, I think, the video that was released last night. This outfit was on a Manhattan Toys doll and I took it off, sold probably within an hour of listing. Um, this is Bitty Baby by American Girl. Just a little flannel shirt, khaki pants, $16.50. Fortnite, I think I picked this up at, a, at, at like an estate sale. 50 cents or a dollar. Um, and I couldn't find any comps like it. So again, $12.95, and it sold for my sell price of $11.66. This was another one of those 
things, you know, I listed it high, um, but it had been a while. I got a $25 offer, went in, check comps. It was reasonable enough that I went ahead and accepted it because, you know, I'm listing tons and I'm filling up shelves and, you know, I got to, it's got to give a little, I got to get stuff moving and I'm the worst for saying this. When you get lowball offers, don't take it personal, but a lot of times I do. So a lot of times something like this and like a more recent example this week, you know, yes, you get upset when you get the lowball offers, but then you just got to think, how much profit are you going to make? If you've got pennies and stuff and you've not been getting sales, go ahead and let it go. Let it go, right? So $25 out the door. It was a Rowenta iron um, and that's the model number. It was used, so still $25 for an iron. Something I never use in this house. It goes in the dryer if it needs to get de-wrinkled. <laughs> How many of you are out there like me? <laughs> this was another figure that I picked up at the Goodwill Bins this last trip in December. Um, I pick up most briars. Um, most of them are going to be like this. They don't sell for a whole lot unless they're certain sizes and certain, like the the Spirit Cimarron series. I can't even think of the movie right now. But this sold very quickly for $9.95. This is a Gap shirt. I'm pretty sure it's one of the first clothing items we sold. Uh, I mean, we listed when we started. I think it's been almost two years now. Um, but this Gap shirt sold for $10.51. A lot of these, it's either fill -a bags um, picked up at the bins, or, you know, we pay a quarter for them. But this was a vintage plush by Prestige Toy. It was from 1985. Just a cute, fluffy pink bear. But it did have kind of big feet. Um, sold for $22.45. This I listed recently. Again, I think I picked it up. Sorry, my hair is in my way. I think I picked it up at the bins. I think so. I've been doing bins bags. Um, we've gone to a couple of estate sales. I'm still going through the stuff that I got from Kim. And a lot of times it just starts getting mixed up in my brain. But this was a very cute Hallmark plush. Most Hallmark, when I pick them up, are going to be bread and butter. This was a little bit better. Um, it was musical. Sold for best offer of $20, probably within a week of listing it. This is called Love Land. was um, on the tag, and then it was by CS International from 1984. Just a white bear, but it had that cute little what, um, black eyes. $11.66. Kelly Toy Squishmallows. This is Tatiana Dragon. It was one of the very small, five inch plush, best offer of $8. Throw it in a poly bag and send it on its way. This is um, from the same series that did like all of the um, Rudolph plush. Um, there's Beatrix Potter, but it's the CVS brand from the store, Stuffins. This was Sweet Pea from Popeye. I picked up a bunch, a bunch of these at the Goodwill bins. I think the previous trip, I think. Um, tons of them. This one sold for $9.86. Baby toys. I have not um, been picking them up. I've just kind of stayed away from them for years and then I think when Kim, I bought a bunch of plush from Kim, I went ahead and was putting them in small lots and they're selling like this always. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for baby plush when I can pick it up very cheap and then make these lots. Um, this was Lamaze. It had the two octopus, well, three octopus. Um, it was heavy too. They're like um, sound toys. You squeeze their legs and they made sounds. $22.45. Spark Create Imagine. This was a 20-inch plush. 
That brand is from um, Walmart from 2020, sold for $17.95. I love picking up sloths. They sell very well for me. This is one of the smalls that I've picked up somewhere. It's by Ertl. It's a John Deere tractor, one of the die cast metals. It's not very big at all. It just was unique because it had the little chicken and the eggs and the nest emblem on the front, $8.96. Spark Create Imagine, again, I do really well with these dogs. There's this tan one, there's brown ones, there's a gray and white one and the Rottweiler one that does very well. Um, this sold very quickly, $13.45. Tonka, Pound Puppies, I usually lot these up in three or four and then just price accordingly. This sold for very quickly for best offer of $15. These license plates we picked up at the Highway 127 sale. I picked like 12 of them to list and I haven't gotten back to them. The tote, I think, is sitting right over there. I need to go upstairs and get them washed. They were very dirty. Um, and then get the rest of them listed because slowly but surely they've been selling for me. This was just a vintage Georgia license plate from 1976. Um, as you can see in my uh, condition notes up there, used, leaving all cleaning to the buyer. The plate had damage and was bent. Still $13. Nerds. Anytime I find a Nerds plush, they sell very quickly for decent profit. This was a 5-inch plush with the Santa cap on it, $12.78, very quickly. Perfection by MJC. I like that brand. I don't find it very often. A lot of them were like the 90s. Um, this was just a flat black bear, $12.95. Now, some of my bigger sales. This was from the online high bid auction that I won almost two years ago. Found a bag, like a Walmart bag, full of Subway toys. I divided them out by the characters, and I have made so much money. These were the Blue's Clues figure lot, um, sold for best offer of $30. And then... These are Linux Sprite Temperware. I listed these probably over a year ago. Robert picked them up, I believe. Um, a lot of the serve, serving dishes sold very quickly. You know, the salts and peppers and the, the creamer and sugar and serving platters and all of that. And then I'm down to like bowls and plates and probably some cups. Um, and saucers, that type stuff, which those seem to be longer. But y'all, I went in, I had never done the volume discount. So I went in and I anything that I had a multi-quantity on, I went ahead and added that volume discount. And almost immediately, this person bought six of these plates, um, $69.96. And then this past weekend, she came back and she bought like eight bowls. So that was a nice turnaround. And then this person sent me these six offers. Um, a lot of them were small plush and plush that had been listed for quite a while. So I kind of did take some low offers on them. She still bought six plush for a total of $63. Very nice. And y'all, she's come back since and bought 16 more. So, you know, a lot of times just you know, giving them combined shipping and, you know, working with them on cost and you get, you know, a, a hopefully somebody who's going to come back quite often to buy some more of the plush. So $63 for six plush. And then this, I sh did a short on this. I'm trying to get more into the shorts. You know, I, I find them, you know, having to talk and show something I'm not used to just all of that and I find it hard to just come off the top of my head for like one minute to talk about something but I've been doing them um this is Tycho kitty kitty kitten it's from the jungle series so this was a snow leopard 
pretty sure we found this at the Goodwill bins. Um, not this last trip, but probably the trip before. And I went high on it because there were no snowbird, snowbirds, snow leopards listed. So I just picked a price, $92.95. And I'm pretty sure it was going to a freight forwarder. So once it gets to its destination, to the freight forwarder, you know, I'm done. I'm done with that transaction. So I love when it's freight forwarders. I didn't stop at some point, which I was supposed to. So let me go ahead and do my commercial for those of you who have stuck with me to the end. Um, I do appreciate all the support you guys give me. You know, I have my, my people who always come in and give me emojis in all of my videos. You know, every comment helps kind of boost us in the algorithm. So definitely if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, just make little comments when you see my videos. Just kind of helps, you know, find favor with the algorithm. I do have um, the links to American Bubble Boy. Definitely a very good product to um, be purchasing. And I get on that subscription and they send it to me without fail every month. And if you get to a point where you've got more bubble wrap than you need, you can pause it. And then when you're ready to start it up again, it just starts up again. Love that. Don't even have to think about it. Um, haul sale, worth point, um, and list perfectly. Best cross-listing platform out there, by the way. Um, so just if you're interested in any of that, go down to my banner find the or down in the description and find the links. I really appreciate it. All right. I've got to make another video. So I'm just going to tell all y'all get to work and my work's going to be another video. Bye.